How's everybody doing? Debuting the short hair. I haven't really done much with it because Roxy, <laughs> she's been doing this a lot lately. You wanna say hi, Roxy? Come here. Come here, over here. Yeah, now you're trapped in here. Sam! <laughs> Roxy, you know when you come in here that you get trapped in here. The door like automatically shuts. Hi, Kendra! Can you let Roxy out? She got trapped. And then she <laughs> shut the door all the way. Love you. Sorry, guys. I just started. <laughs> We're supposed to go get something to eat when I'm when mommy's all done hanging out. Hey, mama! Oh, you want to see the belly while you're here? <laughs> um, I got this cute little. Chris calls it a onesie. It's a little jumpsuit from Old Navy. Uh, apparently, <laughs> it's getting big, isn't it, guys? Apparently, uh, if you order maternity clothes from like Old Navy online and then you return them in store and they don't have a maternity section. They put it automatically in their clearance section and it's half off. So I got this for 15 bucks. But yeah, Chris calls it my onesie. I think it's really cute. It's very comfortable. I'll tell you what, I could live in these jumpsuits and overalls during this whole pregnancy and be happy. Whew, I shouldn't have moved around. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, start putting some stuff on my face because the boys are waiting on me. They're hungry. Uh, so I'm going to start with a lip oil. This is by Sugar Rush by Tarte. Yes. I didn't know that either, Kendra. I told Chris, I was like, this is like the devil on my shoulder. But I was like, so if I ordered a big maternity haul from Old Navy and then I returned it, technically the next day I could have you go back in and get it for me half off. It's not, it's not nice. I don't know why I should think, I don't know why I thought that. I think my belly looks smaller on camera because I've had somebody tell me that. Jessica, I sent her pictures and she was like, you're not that big. Um, but this is the Lip Slip Vegan Lip Oil. Um, oh, Lord. I love the packaging on this. It has the little like rubber piece. You remember those things you used to put on the end of your pencil? <laughs> hey, Renee. Who else is here? Kendra, Mom, and Renee. Somebody else is here who's being quiet. Anyways, my lips are so dry. They stay dry. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. That is like really nice. It smells good too. I feel like I just put like nectar on my lips or something. I feel like <laughs> nectar. Um, and then I've been dying to try this because Laura Beverly wears this when she's not wearing any makeup. It's by Tula Skincare and it's their filter primer. It's a blurring and moisturizing primer for medium skin tones. I got the shade Sunrise, um, but it is like a tinted primer, but it's not quite like a tinted moisturizer. So we're gonna put this on today. And I figured if I did this, then we could see what it's like if I were to decide to use it by itself. Although I'm not, <laughs> I think tinted moisturizer is as light as I'm willing to go, <laughs> but we'll see. First pumps, so. There, is there any product in here? Whoa, okay. All right, it's more runny than I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a thicker consistency. It said, I'll be, it's not very tinted either. I thought it'd be more white but she wears this when she's not wearing any makeup whatsoever although she's gorgeous <laughs> like I feel like beautiful women can get away with much more and I have so much melasma I don't think that I would wear this out you know what I found out about melasma just yesterday um is that I always thought it gets darker when you're out in the sun but it's not just the sun if you get overheated like you get hot your melasma can get darker. I did not know that. I can be in my house, just cleaning my house, and my melasma can get darker. I mean, it definitely blurred some stuff, right? Looks like I put a little Instagram filter on my face. It looks a lot better. Okay. 
I'm sorry with the out of the breath stuff. There's nothing I can do. That's honestly part of the reason why I haven't done so many lives is because I feel like I'm like this all the time. I like filming and editing because then I can edit out all my heavy breathing. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I have some extensions to try out today. So I was like, well, we'll just go with short hair or straight hair. Um, I've been tending to like curl my hair every single time I've had just my hair. Um, and I went on vacation, didn't take any extensions with me. It was so nice just to, just to be me. All right, where are we at, guys? Um, I am on a big kick of trying like all of the light coverage foundations, tinted moisturizers, BB and CC cream so that I can come up with like my top five or show you what worked for me and what didn't. So Nakia Joy just reviewed the Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation and absolutely loved it. Um, the funny thing is my Kroger had a few of these shades on sale for six bucks. But I ended up finding this on Amazon. Not too bad. So I'll add it to my Amazon storefront. I don't know why I don't do this stuff before we go live. But I didn't. Um, and then for brushes today. And I didn't miss you, Laura. <laughs> I saw you come in. Nikki's here. Patience is here. Laura and Sherry. <laughs> hey, girls. Oh, the girls are here. I miss you guys so much. I feel like crying. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, the breathlessness or whatever um, has definitely been a theme throughout this pregnancy. I feel like it started a lot earlier too than with my singleton pregnancies. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> There's two in there. Um, but for brushes today, for the most part, I'm going to use my Lip Glam Brush Club. So it's Grease Delore. And it came with a ton of brushes, which is why I decided not to skip this month. Um, one of them being the E54 Pro Deluxe Flat Buffer. It's a huge blending brush. So I thought that would be fun to use today. Um, but yeah, 20 bucks for brushes. <laughs> 20 bucks for this many Morphe brushes. And heads up, because my girl Holly sent me a message today. Morphe has a huge sale on their website. I didn't even get to finish going through their sale items. I actually need to double check what I already have and make sure I don't accidentally order something I already have. Um, and then I'm going to place my order, but so much good stuff. Whew. Look how huge this brush is. It's like a big kabuki brush. It's completely flat. Um, let's see. <laughs> it says this flat <laughs> kabuki style buffer has an oversized head for buffing in powders and liquids to an airbrushed finish. And then in the Revlon light color, I got the shade 210, which is creme brulee. Kind of making me hungry. Um, but yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, <sighs> geez Louise, you guys. Um, she compared this to what has been so far my favorite, um, tinted moisturizer, which is the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. <laughs> that was good. I got mine in the shade. <sighs> what shade are you in? Do you not say? Six. I got mine in the shade six. I have not tried the Illa foundation yet. Lila, I can't even say it, but I haven't tried it yet. I saw it. I'm going to get there. I, ha I wanted to wait and try it on camera. But also, I want to do, I know it's a beautiful bottle. Um, and it has, this has like the perfect shade for my skin tone too, the number six. Um, but I want to try it with you guys. And I also want to get my light coverage foundations out of the way too. Whew, okay. I'm just going to put this on the brush. It seems very light, a lot lighter. See, I hate these kind of like... Just give us a clear bottle so we can see what the actual foundation looks like because it just soaked right into that brush. I might need to get out the beauty blender that I have, which is huge. It's a real techniques. I think it's like a oh, miracle face and body sponge. It looks like it's huge. <laughs> it is huge. It, it's huge. But anyways, I might have to pull that out. Okay. 
it's very very light and I got it in my hair it's fine we'll make it work I'm gonna use that beauty blender next so the kabuki brush is hard <laughs> I feel like I'm putting sunblock on so it looks like on my forehead but the kabuki brush is so big it's hard not to get it in your hair plus I didn't put on any um, clippies or anything to get my hair out of the way Wow, I really thought that this would be the good shade for me. <sighs> now I'm going to have to go find a darker one. Especially if I like the way this looks. But it's hard to tell. I feel like when you don't get the right shade, it's hard to tell. And I don't, I'm not self, uh, I'm not like, I don't have a tan on. God, I can't even talk today. I told Chris I would be quick, but... Then I get on here with you guys and I'm like, I miss you. <laughs> uh, I needed some girl time. Been very emotional the last couple days. <sighs> so it's, yeah, I just needed you guys. Okay. Now I've got it where it needs to be. Let's use this <laughs> giant blender. Oh my gosh. I mean, this would make fast work of your makeup though. I'll give it that. Feels kind of good because it's, um, I always use hot water when I'm like wetting my beauty blenders, but then it's been sitting here and the basement's always a little chilly. So it's cool. It feels nice. Oh, I need to get on packing my hospital bag. Tomorrow I'll be 26 weeks. <laughs> it's my last week of my second trimester. I looked it up. I don't remember. But yeah, last week of my second trimester. So we'll be on my third trimester any day now. It's crazy. And I did like, I've been doing little videos and taking pictures of my bump. And I missed a couple weeks. So I got some pictures, but not videos. So say it'll be though. I'm doing the best I can with all, everything I got going on here. Um, For concealer. I got this little mini Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Light, which is, I'm glad it's light because the foundation is like ghost town. <sighs> of course I get a phone call, Nikki says. That's what always happens to me. Either that or Chris is running in and out of the front door and setting off the ring, <laughs> you know? I'm like, come on, man. Ooh, this is very thick. Has anybody ever tried this concealer? Like it's super thick. I mean, I need it today though, I guess. My skin, I need all this covered up. All of this melasma. And you know what? I do like doing a light cover foundation and then using my concealer as like, these are the areas I want more coverage. Sorry guys, I don't know what Chris is doing. Usually he's on Roxy duty whenever I go live and he keeps her chill. You guys know she barks at everything. <laughs> I can hear him going, Roxy, stop. Oh goodness. Um, so they have broke ground on Carly's room. We have a new back door, which looks really good by the way. Like. We had just a big wooden slab door, and now we have like a pretty white decorative. It has um like frosted glass in it. Oh, it's so pretty. <sighs> I think I'm gonna show that in like my pregnancy vlogs because I did do a little bit of recording when we went to pick up all the wood and showed you guys how much I spent on all that. Man, finishing out a room like that is getting expensive, but it's a small price to play, pay to fit all of your children in your house. <laughs> oh, see, I like that. That looks good. I don't look too washed out, do I? Well, what do you guys want to know? I haven't been on here in a while and my life's not super interesting, but are you guys curious about anything? Pregnancy or otherwise What's going on? You know what I didn't grab? Setting powder 
And there's none in my little go bag. Hmm. Well. And I need it too. Oh, I can't reach. Forget it. I'm getting up. That uh, creaseless concealer is so thick. There's no way to skimp on it. Whew. I'm going to grab my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. And just pop a little bit of that on. Oh, there's a lot in the cap already. This said you could use it with powders. Let's try it. It's already kind of wet, but say lovey. Oh yeah, that works. I always press it in around the eyes or else I feel like it moves my concealer around. is going on go back to the doctor tomorrow um i haven't been in a month because the week that would have been my normal appointment week we were gone on vacation and i don't know why but the lady would not schedule me for the next week when i call she she told me i would have to call and see if they could fit me in and when I called to see if they could fit me in, when I got back, she was like, why didn't they just schedule you? And I was like, I don't know. My husband had the same question. But I was like, I might be a Karen, <laughs> but I'm so not a Karen when it comes to that stuff. I was like, she's just doing her job. Leave her alone. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe the system won't let her, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know. And she was like, no, you definitely um, should have been able to schedule that for whenever you got back. Cause they were, they want to check my cervix. Got to check that cervix every week. And, uh, every two weeks. Yes. I do go more frequently. I go every two weeks. Um, I do not know if that is going to become more, even more frequent as we go on. Uh, I think it does. If Chris was down here, he could tell you, he remembers all the things. I forget all the things. All right. Put that new brush in there. Cause I think we're done with it. So complexion looks okay. I'm gonna move on and do my brows. I'm gonna use, this is not new, the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in the shade Taupe. I do wanna use my new brush with it though, which is the M158. I'm always curious when I open a new Morphe brush, like, do you already have one and you forgot? That's aesthetic and that's just a spoolie. Maybe not. Ugh. Lord, I'm out of breath, obviously. Um, I am trying to see if Chris is going to let me spend the hundreds of dollars I want to spend to go and get um, maternity pictures done. I hope he lets me because the girl, she did one of my friend's maternity pictures and she's so good. You get like um, three outfit changes and she provides the dresses. Oh my God, I would love it. I would love it so much. Um, but I don't know if we can afford it. And he, I'm really not working right now. I'm hoping that tomorrow's appointment gives us good news. Everything's okay. And then I'll feel more confident about going back to work. Um, but I'm going to wait until tomorrow. I probably could have worked today. Well, not today, but yesterday. But my niece Raya was in town from Oregon and her mom brought her and her brother over to my sister's house for a swim day. So I didn't want to miss that. Thank you, Laura. I love this stuff because it's so fast. <laughs> I feel like this is the fastest I ever do my brows is when I'm using this clay mousse because I just outline it and then use what's left on the spoolie or in the outline to kind of fill the inside. It's like I go into the pan once per brow and then I'm done. I didn't have a little mirror out yet so I'm just using my big mirror. I apologize if it's getting in your way. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I feel like I... All day long. Okay. 
one's good enough, right? We have to move everyone to, we are going in the dining room so all the kids have their own room. Oh no, I totally get that. Um, mom will tell you when we were kids, she had four of us and when me and Jennifer needed separate bedrooms, uh, cause we were going to kill each other <laughs> basically, which happens quite frequently. Um, the mom moved me into the dining room. The only thing I didn't like about it is I didn't have, there were two doorways and I didn't have a door. And then there was a big picture window, like open window-y thing. It's not, it wasn't a window, but like a look through. <laughs> it was big enough to be a window. I don't know what it's called. But anyways, um, so I was like, had no privacy, but I was like really young. What privacy did I really need? Um, if I needed to change, I just went into the bathroom. So, for my eyes today, I'm going to die to try this. Oh my gosh, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. <sighs> She's so beautiful. Carrie! <laughs> Yay, I'm so glad you made it. Man, I'm telling you what, these lives are few and far in between. <sighs> Even a little insert. Um, I don't blame you when you can't make it. Just, you know, I can barely make it. I'm going to use... The M503 that came in my Morphe Me Brush Club. Yeah. Oh, I need to get on there too. Oh, I miss you guys too, Sherry. You have no idea. I feel like I haven't even been texting you as much. It's like breaking my heart. But uh, carpal tunnel, pregnancy induced carpal, carpal tunnel has been going strong. And editing, being on my phone, all that stuff. Doing my makeup even. My hands go numb and it kills me. So I try to keep my hands down as much as possible. Oh, it's you and the husband going to the dining room? Wow. You put a door on there. Oh, well that's really sweet of you guys. To, like, oh, Mom would never have given her room up for me. She had the biggest room in the house. Oh, thank you, Carrie. That's sweet, Renee. Your kids are lucky. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do suede. It's like the first shade that I'm like, cannot stop staring at. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have gotten so much shadow on this brush. I don't know. Here lately with my makeup, I'm just like, get it on. This is a different kind of brush, too. I'm used to... You had the biggest bed, that is true. I'm used to a fluffier brush, but I think I can make this work. Mom's like already taking it up for yourself. Well, I had the biggest bed. I only remember getting into trouble in your room, Mom, on that house on Highland View. I remember being put in the corner in that room. I remember opening a bunch of your, like, I don't know how I got into it. Whereas they're not like child caps back in the day, but I remember opening a bunch of pills that had like, you know, the little capsule ones that had the pill stuff on the inside. I remember opening up a bunch of those and making a pile of medicine, basically. And I got in trouble for that. I remember that's where all the whoopings occurred. Because, yes, we got whoopings when we were kids, people. That's why we turned out so good. Although, I will say, <laughs> I say that. I don't want my children. <laughs> I don't have to, though. If there was Wi-Fi when we were kids, it would work the same. All I have to do is threaten the Wi-Fi and or their electronics. And then my kids are like, the world is over, you know? I don't have to do much more than that. It's them in line. And I, um, <laughs> it was on tap. <laughs> Save was being a smart mouth, and I was like, I'm gonna bust your butt. And he was like, do it. And it was just enough attitude where I was like, <laughs> okay. And so, I hold, held on to his shoulder, and I was like, hmm. And he goes, ha, 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 ha. That didn't hurt. <laughs> I was like, you turned. Uh, I was like, well, 
You just hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, I mom said I got most of my whoopings for lying. Yeah. I was really good about if I drew on the walls, I forgot someone else's name and not my own. <laughs> uh, eating the cake, mom. The chocolate cake where I got everybody else's butt whooped because I would not confess. And then Papa was like, oh, duh, just check their teeth. And here I am with like a chocolate mouth. I didn't want to get in trouble though, mom. What was I supposed to do? I couldn't help but do bad things. It wasn't even that bad. You had good kids. Admit it. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's the second time I whooped him. He was like, still didn't hurt. And I was like, fine, give me your tablet. <laughs> Let's go back to that. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I That kid, man. He's so funny, too. Like, as I'm trying to, like, be serious and whoop him. <laughs> whoop him. He's making me laugh. And it's <laughs> You know what? Fine. Just give me that tablet. <laughs> I grabbed another brush just so I can soften that out a little bit. Of course, running down the steps. The only thing I don't like about this uh, location of this beauty room is that the steps are right here. So if anybody comes up or down the steps, you can hear it. I was speaking of my beauty room. It's about to become mine and my husband's beauty room. <laughs> He's getting ready to move his office furniture in here. You guys are... <laughs> <laughs> they opened the door. <laughs> and both of their heads just popped in. Chris and Sam's. They just popped their heads in. They popped them back out. <laughs> They're such goobers. I'll tell you what. I have I have a wonderful life. I never stop laughing. Between Sam and Chris, I never stop laughing. All right. I'm going to do that same shade underneath my lash line because I'm boring. But I'm going to use the M710 to do so. Oh, I like this brush. It's definitely, it's a liner brush. Um, but it's not as stiff as most liner brushes. I feel like it would be really good to use when you're doing shadow as liner. You don't want anything like super harsh. I'm gonna keep going with that actually. And it applies really fast too. These shadows are so pigmented. There's like no work involved. They're so funny. What? Oh my goodness. This man loves his dog. He's He came in here to show me pictures of his dog. Do you want to show them? The light's on it a little bit. It's a good picture. There we go. Roxy and her toy. My God. Yeah, your dog's cute. Oh my God. He does. He loves his dog. She has been actually warming up to me quite a bit during this pregnancy. I don't know if it's just the pregnancy. I would think so. But she's been very affectionate with me, which is weird. Um, cause she's not like that before I was just uh, a means to get what she wants, whether it was being walked or if she needs food or whatever. Like I'm just that person that would get it for her or do things for her. Why is my skin getting red every time I touch it? But um, yeah, now she's like coming to me for lovin's and stuff. I did have all of this. You think he misses me? Uh, yes, I did cut my hair. Um, I mean, I play with extensions enough to where it doesn't really matter if I want my long hair back. I can throw some extensions in. I'm actually gonna play with some when I'm done here and we go and get something to eat but um yeah i just needed something easier got this bad boy when it was on sale uh it's the three pack of the dual ended tardiest eyeliner trio um it's got a burgundy black and a brown i want to use the brown i was gonna use the liquid liner above my lash line but I don't think I'm going to. I really like the way that shadow liner looks. So I'm just going to use the charcoal liner 
or po, <laughs> I'm so country, in my um, water line. Just to darken things up there. And I planned on putting on lashes today, but I don't think I grabbed any. So I may have to get behind us once more in my drawer and just get something out. I like that. It's not like a super dark brown. Sam has been on this kick lately of wanting to earn money. So that way when he sees things he wants or there's an add-on for a game or something, he can just get it. Oh my God, you <laughs> yesterday. Okay, so he had already earned $5 because we went to the bank to clean and him and Carly both busted their little butts. Like I've never seen him work so hard and actually like really helped me. So I gave them each $5, which was too much. I don't even get paid that much on a cleaning, but whatever. I mean, I do, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there was no money for me yesterday, but day before yesterday, but like, I don't know, they worked hard and I wanted to reward that. So I gave them each $5. And then last night we went and got food and Sam is notorious for never finishing his food. Um, so we're sitting there and, and he had all these fries left and I was like, his dad was eating some and he moved them to the other side. Like, no, you can't have them. These are my fries. I was like, you're not going to eat all of them. He's like, want to bet? I said, yeah, actually. Yeah. Let's bet that you will not eat all your food. And he was like, how much you give me if I do? I was like, $5. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but the last five minutes ended in tears. <laughs> Cause he had like three fries left and it was making him sick cause he was so full. <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. That's, you know what I mean? Like, it's not funny that my kid was feeling sick, but it was funny because he's so stubborn <laughs> that he still ate those three fries. It was like 10, 15 minutes later when he finally would admit that it was worth it. Because before that he was like, oh my stomach. And I was like, is it worth, was it worth it? And he was like, no. <laughs> It was funny hearing five dollars yesterday by finishing in his food. Uh, I don't know. All three of these shades are gorgeous. I'm thinking this one though. Blessed. Hashtag blessed. It's more of a deeper shade than what I generally I generally go for like the lightest shade in the in the group. I may actually layer this a little bit. Oh Lord. Oh my God. I may have just found my new favorite palette. These are just stunning and they're so pigmented and they go on so easy. Some of these have like a little divot in them. I think they're cream shadows. Like this one that I'm using, like that one has a divot, that one has a divot, that one has a divot and that one does and that one. And I think they're cream. I think I'm gonna put bubbly over it though. Just so we can see as many shades we can see oh yes well, that's pretty these are really pretty shadows I have a feeling I'll be using this all week <sighs> I almost wore this outfit tomorrow and then I thought no if I wear a jumpsuit to an ultrasound I'll end up butt naked underneath that sheet this is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette remastered I'm in love I am so glad I picked this this palette for today. And I didn't sleep on this anymore because it's been sitting in the closet waiting for us to dry it. Where, when did we get this, guys? Was this the, the Ipsy box that uh, Kardashian did for us? Is that when we got it? I say so much stupid stuff lately, like ridiculous things, and I'll be editing a video and looking back and being like, oh my God, think before you say things. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll just lean on you guys. Maybe you'll know. I do have my Ipsy box from this month, too. I don't know if I told you guys, but I went ahead and signed up for regular glam bags under a different email so I could get points so that I could get the SL Miss Glam brushes because they were offering like double points. Definitely pregnancy brain. Um, I think I'm going to do this bubbly in the inner corner too. Oh, it's so pretty. So 
Sorry, I'm blocking you guys. I could sit here and play with this all day. You've got so many pretty like champagne -y colors. You could definitely do like a really pretty gradient. My under eyes creasing a little bit. I had to fix it. Just drive me nuts. Okay. What I want not. <sighs> That's it for the eyes other than mascara and stuff. So let's go ahead and finish out my face. I have the Kind is the New Pretty Cheek Palette by Tarte. So it's got a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer in it. Uh, yeah, I would say that's worth it. I honestly, I try a lot of palettes. You guys know this. You see me <laughs> try them. Other than some of these shades look a little glittery to me. Mainly just this one. Yeah, mainly just that one. Everybody okay? That was a loud bump. Okay. Um, but Kind is the new pretty. It's a really nice little palette. It's perfect for travel. Could end up in my hospital bag. You never know. Um, but it's got highlighter, blush, and bronzer. Everything we need. So for the bronzer, I'm going to use the Morphe R13. This is not a new to me brush, but it's one that when I saw it in the set, I was like, oh god, yeah, that's worth it. Because I love this brush. It's bar bar nice. I use it a lot for contouring out down here. But we're going to use it all over today. So the bronzer is called Thoughtful. And it looks like it's a pretty good... Like, not too dark, not too light shade. We'll see. Mm, maybe a little red. Maybe. Oh, Lord. See, I thought my skin was still a little tacky, and it definitely is. It is grabbing hold of that bronzer. Normally, I can spread it out a little easier. But at least it's still blending. I'm going to keep going with R13. I really do usually only use it for down here because it places it so precise. And when it comes to bronzer lately, I just like, I don't know, I like doing like a light flush of it. So I like using a bigger, fluffier brush. Oh, what else is going on? So, Sam is the best kid. <laughs> And he is on the Tilly train with me. Oh, and me and Mom were talking the other day. Are you still here, Mom? He's still here. He's still watching. But we were talking the other day. And we just got on the conversation of names. And I was like, I really, really like Tilly Mae. But I can't think of a second middle name. Both of my kids have two middle names. I'd like to keep that little tradition going. And she was like... I just really like it because my cousins used to call me Trula May and it sounds like that. And she was like, plus my birthday's in May. And, and then I started thinking the month May and then I was like, May, June. Tilly, May, June. Chris hates it. I love it. <laughs> because I was thinking like Tilly, May, Jean or Tilly, May, Sue. But then I had a baby shower with the Moreland side of the family, and everybody hates those. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about Tilly Mae June? Tilly Mae Joe? Oh, that's cute. Cherry, yes. I love that. That goes with, like, the whole, like, country theme. I like that. What do you think about Tilly Mae Joe, Mom? You know, <laughs> when it comes right down to it, me and Chris are the only ones that have to like it. And I told Chris, I was like, you're going to have to start throwing names out there, babe. Otherwise, I'm going to name these kids. I'll name both of them. I don't care. I think Tilly Mae Sue's cute too, but no, they didn't like it. I don't know. And it, I almost hate telling people the names that I like because somebody's going to end up pooping on my party, you know? Anyways. My cousins were like, no, God, no, don't do that to that poor little girl. <laughs> Vanessa's going to pop on as soon as I say this stuff. 
I'm just gonna watch it later and be like, hey. Exactly. I should. But I I am influenced by everyone else. I like June. Joe reminds me of someone else. Who, mother? I do tell. She said someone else, so she probably doesn't want to say. Who? I'm trying to think. A cousin of yours, maybe? I forgot to do I said I always use this brush for down here, and then I forgot to do it. For second middle name, I was thinking Jean. We are naming our little boy Dew in October. Dewing! Oh my god! No! That's one of my boy names that I like. I cannot, like, I could not tell Chris that because I don't want him to, like, grab a hold of a name and be like, oh, I like this one. Okay, well, you got to name the boy. But me and Sam love Duke, and my dad loves John Wayne. And my dad's name is Wayne. That's so funny. I love it. No, I love it. Kendra, that's too cute. June is a girl's name. I know, Mom. <laughs> um, we've had it picked out for eight years. Wayne is a family name. Oh, I love that. Deacon or Macon for a boy. I have always liked Jackson. But Chris told me that... It sounds like a dog's name, which I told my boss, and she has a grandson named Jackson. So, I, don't know. I was like, I know, it's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> Joe, uh, Joe sounds more like a boy. Thing. Okay, I got you. I like Joe because I think it's, um, I think it's very unisex. The blush is called Gracious. Sometimes you can buy these individually when they're in like a little trio like this. That's what I'm telling you guys. Just in case you like one but not the other. Jackson is my dog's name. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was not wrong. Okay, and then last brush we're gonna try is the M. 510. It's a pro round blender brush. I'm going to use it for highlighter. If I can get it open. To the main Jolene. 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 Mom's singing right now. Guaranteed. Mom loves that song. I just threw that brush down. Oh God. Somebody come pick it up for me. Oh my jeez. Okay. And the <laughs> highlighter is called Angel. Whoa, she white. I'll have to blend that out for sure. Not my favorite brush for highlighter. I think I would actually use this brush for um, setting powder underneath the eyes after feeling what it feels like on my face. Put that there. I cannot keep a hold of anything today. Yes, I'm picking that brush up with my toes. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure the boys are starving. And I still have, I want to show you guys the stuff I bought. Because I have enough videos to film. I don't need to film another what I bought and what I got. And I want to still show you guys what I get. Okay, now that we're done with all that, we can move on back. There is a brush hair. Back onto my eyes. So for mascara, I'm sorry, I'm trying to think, like, I do want to do lashes, at least parts of lashes, something. So I'm going to have to grab that after I'm done with mascara while I wait on it to dry. But I'm using the Florence by Mills Built to Lash Mascara. I'm pretty sure it's black. Cruelty free and vegan. I'm gonna use my little brush from the Tarte Cheek palette. It's a mirror. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, hello. Why well, do I feel like I've done this and there's like no mascara on my lashes? Wow, okay. This is definitely a mascara you have to work with. I see the mascara, I know it's there. 
I feel like it's doing nothing on my lashes. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely not lengthening them, not volumizing them, it's just turning them black. So, not a big fan. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Sherry said she likes the new CoverGirl Clean Mascara in the green package. Gemma or Lexi, that's cute. Emma or Amelia. I'm not a fan, Carrie. I don't know. I just feel like it's, I mean, it's turning my, if you like a, um, um, a mascara that just, you know, no frills, just makes your lashes black, then this is it, but I feel like I've got so many mascaras that do so much more than what this is doing right here. But I will say it's definitely not clumpy. If, if the clumpy mascaras are something that bother you, this is a very like separating mascara because I can still see each and every individual lash and I don't think it will really matter since I'm doing um lashes anyway so nah okay it's okay I feel like mine are a little short and stubby too Millie Maybell how cute Tanya oh thank you they're just press-ons <laughs> they're just kiss ones they're light gray with gold glitter. Okay, let me grab some lashes real quick. I'm liking our mascara though. I feel like, uh, or my mascara, jeez. Makeup, I like my makeup. <laughs> but I feel like it matches my little outfit today really good. All right, now that everybody's here, give you guys a good bump shot. Woo hoo hoo. See, I feel like when I'm farther away, it doesn't look as big as it is. It's huge. I keep looking at it like every night when I go get in bed and I'm changing my clothes. I'll look at it, look at Chris, and be like, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. If it gets any bigger, I'm going to just explode. <sighs> I've been putting bio oil on my belly twice a day, and it has helped as far as my belly not itching too bad. Thank you, Kendra. That's what I feel like a lot of people say, but oh my gosh, I feel huge. The funny thing is, if I tell somebody I'm 25 weeks pregnant, they look at me like, holy crap, that belly's huge. And I'm like, with twins. And they're like, oh, okay. I got it. You know what I mean? Like, it's a big belly. And I feel like it looks smaller on camera than it is in real life. It's huge to me. But then again, I'm the one carrying it around all day long, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to use my Jubilee Kiss Lashes, and I'm going to just cut them. Not necessarily in half. I'm actually going to use a little bit more than half. Um, I'm going to put those underneath underneath my lash line. My little trick -a that that uh, one of the little girls at work, I was like... Those are not lash extensions. I know what lash extensions look like. They're not that, like, fanned out. I was like, what are, What have you to do? <laughs> and she was like, oh, they're underneath the lash line. I was like, how do you not get glue all in your eyes? And she was like, well, to be honest, sometimes I do. <laughs> and now that I do them, I know exactly what she meant by that. Sometimes you do. So I'm basically going to take the last two big clumps of lashes off and keep the rest and then I'll save these little bits for a day when I just want extra drama on the outside if I cut off any more than that then I'm just wasting them I'll never use them again they'll just be trash <sighs> here's hoping I do not glue my eyes <laughs> I'm telling you, it hurts too, especially with this glue. This clear glue by Ardell. It works good, but dude, it hurts if it get it in your eye. And I just put it, 
so you guys can see on the outside of the lash so completely other side than what you normally do when you're putting it on your lash line on your lid <sighs> It just looks so much more natural. Um, it's hard to tell. Like, you know there's no way somebody's lashes are that full and something. You know, that full and fanned out and stuff. But you can't see where it starts and where it ends. So it's very confusing when you're look, looking at somebody that has done this technique. If they've done it right. What I like about this glue is I can go ahead and just put them on. Don't have to wait. You just have to be careful. If you get it too close to your water line, it'll burn. But yeah, that's it. They're on. I'm gonna let them sit there and then once I get the other one on, I'll go back and kind of clamp them to my, my natural lash. But if I mess with them too much right now, sometimes they'll move. And then I get very, very, very frustrated. And it does something super fast and easy. What else is going on, guys? Got my van back. Got a giveaway video going up tonight. That is auto-related. Different kind of video for me. Automobile-related. <laughs> oh. Okay, come on. This one, the slash had straightened out a little bit, so it's giving me a little bit of problems. I'm gonna let it. <sighs> There's something sticky on my thing and it pulled my lash right off. So now we get to start over with this one. These are very stiff lashes. Like the ones I normally do underneath the lash line, they're a little thinner and easier to manipulate. Oh, geez, Louise. Everything's going good. Let's leave those there for a minute. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Clean my little tool off here. Make sure there's nothing sticky left on it before I go and clamp. Which is what I should do every time, but sometimes I forget. Oh my God. <sighs> okay, that burns. Give me such a hard time. Keeps getting stuck. Like the glue must have went through the lashes. The eye's been through some crap now. You know what? I'm just going to leave them. I'm not clamping them. I'm going to get them where they go. And I'm going to let them dry. Oh. I may have to go back and fix this one once my eye has dried. Because I feel like it's wet now. Oh, yeah it is. That glue just don't like being wet either. Oh my lord. I may just sit here with one lash on <laughs> for a minute, let everything dry up. Well, normally this goes smoother. Let's say, Lovey. 
Every time I say that around Chris, he goes, Lavi, why do you always make me say that? It's so funny. Oh, I got a little bit of glue right here, and that's what made my eye tear up. And once my eye teared up, it's like, no, nothing wants to stick to it. <sighs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I, um, Pelly Band, not yet. I really don't feel like I need it yet. I'm carrying them so low, but then they also feel kind of well spread out. So I don't feel like I need one yet. I will get some kind of belly band for after my C-section. Cause I didn't even know they were a thing in my last two pregnancies. So after my last two C-sections, I didn't even know they were a thing. Um, some of the videos I've seen are girls on Instagram that have had twins. The hospital has given them one. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's like a thing now. I feel like every time I have a kid, because I wait so long, stuff changes. You know, as far as what they do in the hospital. So, I don't know. I'm gonna give this another go and then I'm gonna leave her and hopefully she'll stick. I don't know. I'm starting to lose faith in the process. <clears throat> Especially since my eyes now wet. I feel like if I had just left it alone the first go around and let the dang glue dry like that, it would have been fine. So I'm gonna leave that and we'll do some unboxings. So we'll do my lips and do some unboxings and then I'll mess with it and make sure it's on properly. <laughs> okay, lip liner, I'm gonna use this one by St. Lux. It's called Secret Admirer and that's the shade. Really pretty packaging. It reminds me of uh, KKW Beauty. Oh, that lip oil is still like hanging strong on my lips. It's not like still as wet. But it's definitely like still working there. One day I'd like to get good at overlining my lips. I also feel like I drink so much and like talk so much that my lip liner never stays on. And I always will like reapply lipstick, but I never reapply lip liner. Oh, I was gonna ask, mom, while you're here, you asked me if you want more pictures on Instagram. I don't know what you mean. More pictures of what, the beach trip? It's just crazy. I don't think I would ever again want to do a family vacation with that many people. It was too much and it was crazy. And they wanted to do like a caravan kind of thing on the way down. So we all stuck together and when we stopped, we waited on everybody to get back in the cars before we headed out. And it was very frustrating because me and Chris are like a get it done, get back on the road kind of people. And not everybody was like that. It's very frustrating. So on the way back, we just drove back the night before. Don't mess with it, Karen. <laughs> Leave it alone. Um, and then for lipstick, I'm going to use the Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. This one's in the shade. Huh. Uh... Chai Genius. Looks really pretty. Mm. These are the ones that were like coffee, uh, coffee and chocolate scented. Oh, I like that. You know what would be really nice with that is that a uh, Ofer Libby that I have that lines it up. If it was just a little bit lighter, I'd be all about it. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And then I have a gloss. My last lifter gloss that I haven't tried yet. Okay, 
That's our makeup today, though. Pretty much. Other than gloss. <laughs> this hair. I do like the short haircut. And I think it's going to be really nice with the twins because I can still put it up in a ponytail. And it's really easy to style. It's really fast. Oh, that made it darker. Oh, yeah, it did. This one is a little bit darker. It's in the shade Ruby, and it's got sparkles. But I love the lifter, lifter glosses. I'm going to have to watch it. Anytime I use a lip gloss, my two front teeth are like a vacuum for my lipstick, and it, like, sucks it in. It does lipstick here, so let me know if I get it. I love the eye look, too. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I didn't get a lot of pics with Ryan, Mom. I'm apolo I apologize. Uh, the kids were playing, and I was talking. I did not get a lot of pics. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't either, Tanya. But I feel like it'll help. You just tried the Velour Eyeliner and Lash Adhesive Hybrid, and it makes putting on lashes easy. Velour. I've tried the Kiss one. The liner lash glue. I have not tried the velour one. Send me a link, Shelly. <laughs> Hook a girl up. Okay. All right, guys. Let's look at some stuff. I need some earrings before I go out anyways. And I got an Ear Fleek package. If you guys haven't heard of Ear Fleek. And let's say you want to be a subscription girl, but you just can't afford it. This is the one to get on. I just lost a nail. We're going to ignore that. I don't know why I had to announce it. I probably could have gone through without you guys noticing. Um, but it's only $3.49 a month and half off that if you're free to sign up. So it's uh, definitely a good one. Let's see what we got. I hope we got gold. My Apple Watch is on a gold band right now and I don't want to switch. Not gold, but I've been wanting these for so long, Mom. You're going to die. You're going to die. This is worth changing my watch band. Coca-Cola bottles, you guys. <laughs> Little tiny Coca-Cola bottles. The only thing I'm bummed about is the label on this one is all not straight. That drives me nuts. We'll hide it underneath the hair. Oh, I have been, um, because they let you vote on their inventory each month, and I have been voting yes to these since I first saw them on. I'm like, please send me the Coca-Cola bottles. If I crave caffeine, it is my one cup of coffee each morning and Coke. <laughs> These retail for $15.99, by the way. I love it. How cute. I have some um, uh, little Barbie shoes earrings that I bought off of Etsy. I had them before the fire. I don't know if I still have them. I don't know. I don't remember seeing them anytime recently, so I might not have them anymore. I do that all the time. Oh, setting spray. I forgot. And her lash looks like she's good. So I should have just left it alone in the first place. Um, but I'm going to use the Watermelon Burst Setting Spray by Ciate London. I love the bottle. It's gorgeous. And I love watermelon scented things. Oh, I missed my face for a second. Hopefully that will help keep everything in place. Okay. What else? Oh, okay. Laura Beverly made me buy it. Go ahead and say it. It's an XL bottle of the Navy Skipper, which is a flexible volumizing hairspray. So we're going to use some of this because I'm getting ready to go out. We'll see if we can't keep my hair in check. But she said she likes it because it's flexible. It does give her hair some body so she doesn't have to like um, necessarily use like a bodybuilding spray as well. Ooh, <laughs> a little crazy there. Anyways, it smells good. I've been dying to get this out. Yeah. I needed a new hairspray because other than that, I have <laughs> Aussie Mega Hairspray 24 hour flexible hold, which is not bad. This is not a bad option at all but I like the thought of a volumizing hairspray so I don't have to necessarily put 12 different products in my hair I love these coca-cola bottles 
Okay, what else? Oh, bend over and get this stuff. Uh, all right. I put this on Instagram. I think I'm not not you guys over. I put this on Instagram. I finally went out and bought it. The Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush. It's so beautiful. I would not let myself buy it because it was twenty dollars. And then um, I decided to the week of vacation. Decided to splurge on it. It reminds me. Uh, it gives me like Beauty and the Beast vibes. <sighs> it's so pretty. Mom, the hair color makes you look like Priscilla Presley. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> There's some lipstick on my teeth already. Uh-huh. That always happens. When I do gloss. But anyways, I don't know that I'll be able to use that. That may just have to go on a shelf somewhere and look beautiful forever. Because it's so cute. Um, And then, oh gosh, what's her name? Sherry, I think you watch her too. She did like a... Dolly Parton's makeup video. So this is Dolly Parton's favorite foundation. She's worn it forever. Do you guys remember Max Factor? <laughs> it's the Max Factor X Pan Stick. Hopefully I got the right shade. That looks okay. Um, but this is what Dolly Parton uses and Dolly's my girl. So yeah, I have to give it a shot. So I ordered it off of Amazon, which I'll also link. I'll link both of these in my Amazon storefront when we're all said and done. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Everybody's saying they agree with mom. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, It Cosmetics. So this was on Amazon Prime Day. And this is one of, this will definitely be one of the top, I can't get it open, I need scissors. One of the top five, um, like light coverage foundations, tinted moisturizer, BBCC cream, whatever category. Um, it is the It CC Cream Full Coverage. It's got 50 SPF. Honestly, it's my absolute favorite. I went ahead and got another one of the light medium because it was on sale. Sorry. For Prime Day. my go-to. The one upstairs looks horrible. I've been using it so much. But yeah, that'll definitely make it to that video, I promise you. And then, I bought a wig. <laughs> I really want to try it on with you guys today. But now, I got Carly Life 360 and now I know every time she leaves her dad's, it's a good and a bad thing. She left at 11, almost 10.30 last night. And I was like, hey, where are you going? She was like, I'm going to Walmart. I was like, with who? She was like, with Bella. Bella's 18, that's her sister. And I was like, and? She was like, just us. And I was like, no, honey. I was like, human trafficking is so bad in Tennessee. Like, you guys cannot be running around at night by yourselves. Something bad's gonna happen to you. Should I try the wig on now? Yay or nay? Or... You know what I might do is try it on later and put it on Instagram. So if you want to see me in the wig, check out Instagram. But this I bought off Amazon as well. And it looks so pretty. <laughs> I pray <laughs> that it still does, that it does look pretty. But it's a headband wig. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't get the net off my hand. Oh my gosh. That might actually be pretty. Um, yeah, I'll try it on Instagram and uh, post some pictures or hop on Instagram and show you guys what that looks like later on. Because Chris is waiting for me. He'll kill me. But it came with three additional headbands. I dig this one. I have to try that one on. And a wig cap as well. So we'll try that out later. I got a small-ish <laughs> package from Ipsy. Um, and then we have our big box from Ipsy. Thank you, Laura. I'll link that in my Amazon storefront as well. So this is, God, is this May's bag? I don't know, but my brushes are in here. <laughs> I've been waiting on these. Oh my God, you guys, this was totally worth signing up for. 
a regular Ipsy bag so that I got all the bonus points and was able to get this. I love S on this glam. First off, she has twin girls. Gotta support her. And these brushes are stunning. Each of her brushes have little like bejewel, little jewelies right there. But the glitter ones, these are like confetti glitter. Oh, I love them. What else is in here? Ooh, a lip oil duo by Sunset to the Stars. You guys know me and my lip oil. Oh, hey, it looks like lip gloss. They're like glittery and stuff. Huh, so that'll be fun to try out. I have to put that in our get ready with me box. We got a Kovas Blushing Beauty Luminous Blush Palette. So it's got three blushes in it, Cora, Rosie, and Peaches. I'm not gonna swatch, but we'll look. Ooh, okay, they're not all like shimmery. They're all like very similar shades. The last two are shimmery. Very pretty. So this is a glam bag plus, and I think I've got an X down here as well. I don't know though. It's big. It's a big box. Another brush. This is the Conceal and Set by Farah. And I think I also have this in, in like an add-on or something. So, I like dual ended brushes though. They do make it really nice and easy. So you can do concealer with this brush and then set it, I assume, with this brush, with that side. I'll just put that down there for now. We can keep on moving. You guys still with me? All right, another Ciate um, setting spray, but this one's Dewy Coconut. Ooh, I like coconut. Wonder if it looks like the one we just used. It does, but it's like in a white bottle. Very, very nice. I don't want to use it. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my God, yes. Sometimes when they do a coconut scent, you can't smell the coconut. I am a scent girl. I want to smell the coconut. I love that. It made me kind of glowy too, didn't it? Um, what else? By Yensa, a Super 8 Vibrant Silk Lipstick. I've gotten their lip oil before, but I've never tried one of their... I am a sucker. <laughs> I could do that all day. Oh, I love that. Oh, she pretty. That's very pretty. It's in the shade Free Spirit. And that pops out, so that's fun. <laughs> I really just need something to play with, apparently. Okay. I'm nearing the end. Let's see. Uh, we got the tar. Oh no, this is this month because I remember seeing this. I don't know what the big box is then. <laughs> but the Tarte uh, Rainforest of the Sea Hydro Sealer. It's a concealer. I'm thinking this might be too dark for me from what it looks like on the website. Yeah, 24H Light Medium Honey. So it might be good for when I am self tanned. A little darker than what I would normally use. And I like that. Like, I like the way it wasn't like uberly thick. That sheared out really pretty. That actually might be a good match for me. I either go with stuff that's too dark or too light. I always tend to mess it up. And then we have a nude lip balm by Context. It's got one of those thingies on it, you guys. Oh, hey. That was not too hot. Like most of the time I'm like, okay, well, we're not gonna open this during the video. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is pretty. I have a feeling that'll go on pretty sheer too, cause it's, yeah. It's a lip balm. That's pretty. I like that. Kind of reminds me of those, uh, what, tart juicy lips. Okay, that is everything in my little glam bag. It is June 2021. Okay. And my Ipsy link's always down below if you guys want to sign up. 
always, always, always. Okay, last but not least thing we're gonna unbox is this, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is, it's empty. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know why I have it. I don't know if it's, um, usually the X boxes, Playmax come in these big boxes. Is this just my add-ons? <laughs> Okay, I think it is. I think these are things that I bought, purchased separately, and they were like, oh, this, this takes up so much, let's just put it in a big box. Because these were, there's a couple of things that were a $5 add-on. All about getting a nice amount of the stickers up so that I can do my Gel X nails, but put some stickers on them. <laughs> and then you put gel polish over top of them. And then I have never done a foot mask. So this is by Grace and Stella. It is down for the peel. It's a peeling mask. I've heard you better be prepared for the peel. You have to wear them for one hour and then wash your feet with soap and water. Peeling will begin five to seven days after initial application. My feet need this so bad. They need to peel. They're, they're so dry. I need a pedicure really. And then I got some more stickers. These are really girly and pretty, so those should be fun. I've got two nail polishes. Oh, one is a Coconut Rehab Nourishing Cuticle Oil by Pacifica, and then a color, it didn't break. A nail polish by Color Club, which is a fun bright pink, like a Barbie pink. I need a pedicure so bad. And then, last but not least in here, Mind Tan. Anytime I see Mind Tan on sale on Ipsy, I go for it. This one is the, let's just open her up and see. Maybe. <laughs> if I can open her up. I told Chris I would be quick. It's been an hour and 17 minutes. He knows so when I get on with you guys, it's at least gonna be an hour. This one is the uh, color base gradual tan, but it's um, violet. So what I like about mine tan and a couple of the other sunless tanners do this is you can get like um, whatever undertone you have in your skin, you can kind of match it or you can kind of switch it up, whatever. Um, this one's really cool. I like that it's unscented, it's streak free. And it doesn't have a color guard, so that is one thing to note. If you are new to sunless tanning, I would recommend something that comes with a color guard. And then they have the nice mitts, mine tan does. I prefer the mitts that have the thumb. It just is easier to keep it on than the ones that don't. Okay, that's everything. Ooh, doggy, I got a mess to clean up when we get back from lunch. My boys are probably starving now. Goodness. I want to try that wiggling, but it's a lovey. Alrighty, you guys. I guess I'm going to go glue my nail back on, go get some lunch. Hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions or want to remind me to put those links in my Amazon storefront for the foundations, maybe the wig. Um, and I guess that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and let you go for now, but I will be back eventually. <laughs> Thank you, Laura giveaway video tonight make sure you look out for that one that one's a fun one and yeah i guess that's it guys i'll update you on the the babies babies very soon tomorrow is the appointment so i hope you guys have a great day thank you i'm sure i'll have a good lunch food is my favorite thing right now <laughs> all right my loves i'll see you very soon love you very much talk to you later mama <laughs> I'll see you then. Is there not lipstick on a teeth again? Oh man. Anyways, love you guys. See you later.